fiancé 27F went too far at bachelorette party. I 28M am ready to call it off. People are telling me not to do to extenuating circumstances. I've been with my fiancé for going on four years. We got engaged a little over a year ago and we're going to put a rush on the wedding because her mother was sick. Her mom had smoked for a long time, quit, picked it back up, and then developed cancer. To look at her mom, you'd never suspect she was a smoker, but had picked up the habit. Her mother grew too ill for a wedding so the idea of putting one together quickly faded and instead a couple of months ago, she passed. My fiancé was devastated to lose her mom at such a young age. I offered to postpone the wedding but she really wanted to move forward with it and took to planning. We agreed that we weren't too interested in bachelor-slash-bachelorette parties and instead decided we'd do something low-key. Her maid of honor approached me about doing something more substantive for fiancé as she lost her mom not too long ago. I thought it was a good idea. I arranged for dinner-slash-drinks and fun with my groomsmen. The best man, my brother, and my best friend booked a steakhouse and then arranged for drinks at a nice place afterwards. They bought me a nice cigar for the lounge and we had a tremendous time. Fiancé was texting me and then her phone died. She was out incredibly late, her friends said they packed it in around 5am and then slept most of the morning and ate a late lunch rather than brunch. When she got home she was still hungover and basically laid in bed and drank Gatorade instead of doing anything. The Saturday and Sunday were pretty much a write-off. She was that hungover. I asked her about it and she kept saying she pretty much has no recollection after a certain point. Her friend said something similar, that she was so obliterated after like 3am that they carried her to a friend's brother's bar where they hung out while my fiancé sipped booze while splayed in a chair. Things were fine until last night when she asked me to find something on her phone. I noticed a message come through saying my name, so yes, I snooped. It said I also hope, my real name, doesn't find out. I scroll up and it's a nightmare. This afternoon, My fiancé texts her maid of honor saying that she hasn't been that drunk in a long time and her friend follows up with I know and a series of photos, my wife and her friends in a room, most of the women are topless, including my fiancé, and there's a stripper. Fiancé responds oh god. Can we not? And another photo follows with the stripper kissing her neck while her friends are topless, holding booze and obviously acting poorly. Fiancé texts I feel bad because, my real name, had such a tame night, he's such a good boy. I hope he doesn't find out. That's when Mo responds, I also hope, my real name, doesn't find out and by this point is added he'd leave you. During their night out, someone must have used her phone to take photos to commemorate her little dalliance, because there must have been another half dozen photos on her phone. The worst being what looks like my topless fiancé laying on the bed with her friends around her and a naked stripper smelling his finger. I was horrified. I didn't know what to do and didn't want to come out and say I snooped so I tried to get her to talk about the evening. I told her about our evening. She deflected, said she was drunk, and that she never needs to be drunk again and then says something how she's not at all jealous of her single friends and can't wait to get married. We're getting married in four weeks. I couldn't take it and told her I knew. She freaked out and at first got mad that I snooped but then realized the gravity of the situation. She began to apologize and hid behind being drunk. I didn't accept that and she started crying. I went to another room to cool off and I guess she texted her friend because I received a flurry of texts telling me that it was a mistake and nothing happened. After a few hours of arguing, fiancé tells me that they went to someone's house where they all got obliterated and a strip arrived. They decided to take their tops off and have fun. The stripper did his thing and kissed my fiancé's neck and chest and attempted to touch her genitals but she stopped him. They tipped him and he left. I didn't handle it well and basically said that it didn't really matter at the end of the day and that the wedding was off. She looked stunned. I threw some clothes into a bag and told her to leave. To my surprise she left. Her maid of honor texted me that I'm an asshole and I replied asking how much of the money I contributed towards their night went to a stripper putting the moves on my fiancé? I haven't heard from her since. I took the day off work and had to turn my phone off. My fiancé has texted ever three or four minutes. Her father called slash texted and then sent me a long email. I checked my phone again about six minutes ago and it's non-stop texts from a bunch of people. No one on my side of the family knows. My fiancé is saying she'll do anything. She wants to come home she's sorry. Her father texted me again to please call him and her friends added me to a WhatsApp group that basically outlines the whole night, their indiscretion and is telling me that she's sorry slash they're sorry that she was too drunk and that I'm an asshole for not talking to them. I know I eventually have to say something. I don't know what to say or to whom. I don't even know how to handle this. Not in a million years would I have ever thought my fiancé would do something like this. She's the most stable, earnest, nice and straightforward person ever. I don't understand it. I don't know what to do here. Update
I'm losing my mind. I posted Friday about what happened previously. I will include the original content for people to read below. I need perspective and people's opinion on where to go from here. The whole wedding is fractured. After I posted my thread, I got a lot of great advice and suggestions. At around 5 something, I was hungry and went out to grab some dinner and come home. I got home and my future Phil was in the parking lot. He saw me and asked to talk. He brought a cigar and beer so we chatted. He had no idea what happened and wanted to hear it from me. I told him the whole thing but refused to show him pictures. By this point I had a lot of the photos and they were pretty rough. My Phil drank a beer, left me the rest and I ate dinner and smoked. He said he'd call later, so I turned my phone on. I had dozens and dozens of calls, maybe 100 plus texts and WhatsApp messages, FB messages and emails. I sifted through them through dinner and finally got an email from my future Phil. Short and to the point. His daughter is sorry, she's a horrible mess and is going to stay with him. He's disappointed in her, her friends in this situation, to take time but to please consider forgiving her. Right around 10 two of the bridesmaids show up. They're knocking at the door and they want to talk. I let them in and we chat. They immediately start pointing the finger at the maid of honor, that she was the person that planned this and that they thought they were going to just have a girl's night out. The toplessness was a joke on the girls out and they didn't know that a stripper was coming. They had apparently had something to eat, drank a ton, went to one of the other bridesmaids house and were getting changed to go to a club and were all wasted. They confirmed that my fiancé was by far the drunkest and both confirmed that the stripper did indeed touch her below the belt. Fiancé was obliterated drunk and did verbally stop him after he touched her there. After that, people got uncomfortable, the stripper was totally naked, and they left. My fiancé sobered up somewhat after water and some time between drinks and then immediately began boozing again at the bar slash club which is when they plunked her in a chair. The bridesmaids left at around 11 and I thanked them for telling me the truth. They felt that my fiancé had been too drunk to do much and that they were all surprised the stripper showed up. They all said it was the maid of honor who organized this and asked me to just talk with my fiancé. I wasn't in the mood but texted her not to engage my parents, I didn't want them involved with this and that she should keep them out of it and we'd talk. That opened the gates and she texted me on slash off most of the night. I finally agreed to meet her the next morning. It was awkward, neither of us knew exactly what to say. She was crying and wanted a hug. We sat down and she basically apologized for everything, took responsibility and said that she was sorry for what happened. She agreed that she was too drunk, should have excused herself or stopped drinking and didn't know a stripper would be coming. She said that everyone was topless and she explained that there was some dancing, the stripper did his show and then pushed her on the bed and inserted her finger. She said no, he quickly removed it and no one knew what to do. Mo danced with him a bit more, then their time was up and he left. I asked about the photos and Mo and another bridesmaid took photos, the Mo took the finger sniffing photo. I asked who else has photos of the event and she doesn't know but hopes Mo doesn't use them for any sort of revenge. I told her I understood but was hurt and horrified. She indicated that she talked to her father and then her Mo who basically turned on fiancé and said she did her a favor, etc. They aren't talking and as a gesture, fiancé will remove her from the wedding and will just have an off balance of people in the wedding party. She hadn't slept so after a while she went to go sleep and I went and ran errands. We basically kept to ourselves on Saturday. On Sunday she made me breakfast and crawled into bed with me. I had to be clear that I'm still really upset and told her that I'm hurt, I'm disappointed, I'm not just over it. She said she understood but wouldn't let this come between us. I'm starting to feel bad that I'm not somehow over it and I'm not sure if I should just drop this whole thing. In the past, my fiancé has been a solid person, she's not the kind to get drunk or would have ever done something like this. I have a business trip coming up shortly that she is slated to travel with me for. She's packing her bags and looking to go. I'm not sure what to do. To recap. 1. She's completely and unreservedly apologized. 2. She is removing the maid of honor from the wedding. 3. Her friends and family think this indiscretion is a one-off and to work through it. 4. She should still come on the business trip I'm going to. I need perspective. I feel like a whirlwind has knocked me back and I'm not sure what to do. Final update. Well, it's been like 12 days. The long and the short of it, the truth came out. Wedding has been put on hold while she gets help and I am left to pick up the mess and deal with everyone. I need a stiff drink and a vacation. A lot of people said some things that really struck with me. The photo of the stripper seemed to be odd, and you're right, it made no sense. Why would he take a picture that was so compromising? Why would he risk possible criminal charges if someone felt he went too far? How was he so cavalier? I sat her down and demanded the whole truth. 
We talked the night that I posted and we talked from 6-ish until 3 or 4. We went moment by moment, step by step, and I demanded to know what happened. So, here's what actually happened. They got together for pre-fun cocktails and dinner but ate very little. They drank and drank and then had a hotel room booked as their base of operation from which they'd change and go to a club then crash at the end of the night. They got to the hotel and everyone was drunk. Instead of cooling their jets, they wanted to have more fun. Two of the bridesmaids suggested getting topless, one is a school teacher and the other is a surgical nurse, and then my fiancé's bright idea? Get high. But on what you might add? Oh, only painkillers she illicitly procured during her mother's final months and had been taking to help deal. Yeah, f***ing lovely. My mill had been on Delauded, Ativan and others. They all popped a pill, finishing the bottle and then the most surprise, a stripper. So, who took the pills and drank? Only my future wife. Yeah, the rest of them realized that was a shit idea and instead just stuck to booze. It's why my fiancé was fall down dumb and couldn't hold herself together. My fiancé doesn't drink, so I should have connected the dots there. That's on me I guess. The reality of the stripper is that they jumped around topless, drank and laughed while my fiancé was stoned and drunk. Stripper never fingered her. She kissed him then he kissed her neck and she hugged him but he was clear what the rules were and not only did he not touch her but they are pretty sure he ended things early and left to avoid a problem. The photo was a setup and she was wearing underwear but not much else. She then admitted she would have fucked the stripper so that I would leave her. She said that she was mad at her mother for declining treatment early on and for her father for not pushing her into treatment earlier. She was mad at the whole situation and she began to take some pills. Then she was mad she was taking the pills and wanted to put distance between us. I couldn't figure out what pills she was taking until it dawned on me. Near the end her mother was in pain and they gave her a prescription that made her really sick so another was issued. I thought the pills were destroyed but I guess my fiancé didn't do that, I had no reason to assume she would lie. In the years we've been together slash known each other she's drank maybe three times and been really seriously drunk only once. I didn't think she'd do that. So, that brings me to the texts. I ask her why, if she would have fucked that guy to hurt me, she didn't want me to know. She explained that she felt horrible guilt, didn't know what to do and realized it wasn't what she wanted and got scared that I was going to find out and leave her. Her mo, who hired the stripper, wanted me to know about the drugs and thought she could scare her into telling me. Her bridal party were divided all wanted the wedding to proceed but half wanted her to disclose the pills she stole and the others didn't. By this point I didn't know what to do. I followed advice given her and said we needed to delay the wedding. She began to panic and begged me not to. She started making bizarre fucking suggestions, we could do whatever I wanted for the next year and even offered to let me hit her to get back but begged me not to walk away from us. She then said she had a problem and needed help, her dad is a nice guy but not emotionally all that available. She said that without me she'd be alone and that despite everything she loved me. That I don't actually doubt, I think she really does love me. So what happened? She saw her doctor on Monday who immediately used the words abuser and addict and strongly recommended blood tests, medical tests and a referral to a psychiatrist. We got the name of the doctor and I guess they move quickly because by the following day she was meeting with a psychiatrist. He recommended different types of therapy. We had a group meeting and he said my wife is absolutely an addict, she was using the prescription pills and alcohol and my fiancé admitted she had been drinking on the sly for some time. She's taken a leave from her work and is in group therapy sessions, meeting with a psychologist and recuperating by focusing on diet, exercise and self-improvement. We're down to one salary, mine, and absolutely cannot afford extras, so the wedding is currently on hold. This meant that I had to have very uncomfortable conversations with everyone, including my family, her family and our friends. Her father talked to me and told me that he feels terrible. He knows he has trouble being emotionally available and said that he wasn't really there for his daughter and felt horrible. My parents are well-to-do and helped with some bills that unexpectedly came in and have been helping a lot with everything. My fiancé has been going to my parents' house to work with my mother on gardening and to do other things around the house. The bridal party and maid of honor came to meet with me and bought me breakfast. They admitted that they suspected she had been taking the pills as she was a little looser with them and felt that the bachelorette party was a huge mistake. She drank way too much and they didn't stop her. I thanked them for their apology but said I didn't know what to say. They just offered their apologies and said that I was a great guy. The long and the short of it is we're not sleeping in the same room. We aren't having sex. We are right now in this weird healing phase. Her team has recommended I see individual therapy which I haven't yet had the time to do. A lot of bills have come in and we've delayed the wedding, no rest for the wicked, I guess. My parents have been absolutely wonderful in all of this. Fiancé and I are in a weird place. She's overly nice and sympathetic. Since she's home, 
She cooks a lot more, focuses on tasks around the house and has been working hard on exercising. She submits to drug tests and we have a backtrack if I'm concerned she's drinking. I'm a lot more aware of what's going on. She's attended a secular sobriety organization and meets with them. She's in group therapy and individual therapy. I kind of feel like I got shat on again and don't have a next move planned. People keep telling me to watch out for myself, boo t I'm not sure what to do. So that's what happened. I'm stunned and confused. Turns out people can really surprise you, and not always in a good way. I still love her and depending on how things go, we'll see about getting back to a place where we can think about a wedding. For now, I'm going to eat some bacon and try to enjoy the weekend.